Before we go any further, just so that we have this conversation in context, I want you to listen to what one of Jeremiah Omoto's collaborator, one that organizes actors for Omoto for Fame, had to say. This was the message I received from him. Hi, Prof. X. I am a collaborator for most Nigerian DDGOs. I organize RNG people for them. Prophet Jeremiah hey. Church, they hire us. Make we come act like sick people. We go later pretend, say them don't heal. Or them go put us for wheelchair. Make we act like we don't get healing. So this is big English. If you do not understand it, I do get what he's saying. He's saying, Prophet, I'm one of people, the people that Prophet Jeremiah hires to come and act like they are sick and pretend as if we were healed. Sometimes they put us on a wheelchair and pray for us, and then we'll come and start celebrating, pretending that we were healed. That's what he's basically saying in pig in English. I'm learning small, small. I'm getting there. You can even tell by my response. Who you they work with from Jeremiah Omoto's church? And he said, one lady, where name? Narita. Hey. Where they work for media? Get Wahala. She never pay us our money for the past three months. And then I asked him, how much do you collect for people you send for RNG? And do you have proof? This lady called Rita is quite interesting. Let me just give you a brief background before we analyze the information that I have at present. And mind you, let me make a disclaimer. This is not a recent conversation. I'm only doing it now because I have already engaged and interviewed some of the people that were hired by Jeremiah Omoto for fame. And they have already cut and you know, merged the prophecies and the healings that he did in his church and the people that he claimed to have healed. The reviews are already there. I'm just waiting for them to be in safety before I publish them. Hey. Because they fear for their lives. Omoto is a mafia, as you all know him. He's likely to go after them one by one and terminate them. So, I was saying, let me give you a brief background about this particular girl called Rita that this collaborator mentioned. Rita is more like Omoto for Fame's right hand lady. And her duties and responsibilities extend beyond just being Jeremiah Omoto's employee. She's the head of the media department. She's the one who makes sure that if there is any controversy around the internet, she contacts bloggers, different bloggers. The majority of Nigerian bloggers are on Rita's payroll. She contacts them and says, listen, do a video about this. Go blast Prof X. Do a video about this. Talk about the good things that Papa J is doing. That's her main responsibility to clean up for Jeremiah Omoto's mess. She's also Prophet Jeremiah Omoto's side dish. Like I said, there's a time when she was fired from Mercy City because Mama Fofane was not happy when she heard rumors that she's also being eaten by Papa J. For that year, miracles were not easy. Prophecies were not easy for Papa J. To a point whereby Papa J said, ah, you know what, Mama Fofane, will you keep quiet? You do not know our source of living. You do not know where our money is coming from. I want Rita back in this institution. Then Jeremiah Omoto brought her back and she continued her duties and responsibilities. Rita is like this with Papa Jay. Papa Jay spends most of his time with Rita than he spends with Mama Fofane. He barely spends time with Mama Fofane. When they do aeroplane or when Trombolo gives Jeremiah Omoto a private jet, he is always with Rita. When Omoto wants girls from Namibia, because Omoto, you know, import most of the Namibian slay queens. There's another slay queen that he recently bought a car as well from Namibia. He uses Rita. Rita is the front for Omoto for fame. She does everything, almost everything for Jeremiah Omoto for fame. She is the backbone of all Omoto's shenanigans. If Rita wakes up today and she's not happy, that entire messy city will crumble like this. That entire messy city will disappear. Because there is no legitimacy in Omoto's operations. I'm sure we can all agree. All of us, we might debate whether some of the native doctors from Nigeria are real or fake. But when it comes to Omoto for fame, I think we have all reached that unanimous agreement that Omoto is 1,555% fake. 
there is nothing real that comes from Omoto's shrine. And all of those arrangements, they are orchestrated by Rita. Rita recruits these people through this coordinator. This coordinator is the one that sources for those people that are having hardships in life and give them an opportunity. All you have to do is to come and pretend as if you're sick. Sit on the wheelchair or come with a crutch, you know, limping, and just act as if you are healed the moment Papa J pray for you. So there is some disagreement between Rita and the coordinator. She's relaxing now. She does not understand how this can mess up the entire reputation of Papa J. She has not paid this coordinator for the past three months. That's why this one is now acting out of frustration. That's why this one, this coordinator, now wants to spill the beans. The only reason why people normally spill the beans is because they are not paid or well appreciated for their efforts and their involvement in this whole drama that you end up seeing online. And after that, you start giving your money, saying, yeah, this one is being used by God. Yet it's just a drama to them. It's just a RNG. So this coordinator has reached that point where he has already spilled the beans. He has already made me engage with some of the arranged actors that were organized by Rita. As I have already mentioned, Rita is Papa J's number one. They do everything together. She's more like the second wife, if not the first. If I'm to put it correctly, wherever Papa J goes, Rita goes. Hey. Sometimes they even wear matching outfits. Sometimes they... My people, if Omoto invites Okafo, the first person that engages with Okafo is Rita. Hey, I think I'm going too deep by now. <laughs> Rita, are you there? Are you there now? <laughs> Should I go deeper? <laughs> Rita, Rita, let me be this now. Ah, wait, let me give it a, let, let me pause now. Let me go to, let me not go too deep on Rita right now. She's not the, she's, she's not our interest. Our interest is a motto for pain. Rita is just hustling. She's just doing what she knows best, which is to hustle. She's a mafia, I respect. Rita, wherever you are, if you see me, I salute you. You are, you are a real mafia. Every false prophet needs a Rita in their life. Because Rita makes things happen. She delivers. She, ma she, she has made Mercy City stand as it is right now. Because the only reason Mercy City is standing is because of the fake miracles that are orchestrated by Rita. Ah, uh, for all that you can say about Rita, one thing you should give to her is how good she is at coordinating all this drama for Papa J. My people, I think I've already said enough, more than what I wanted to say, but that's just the basic information about the relationship between Papa J and Rita in all the miracles that you have seen Papa Jay performing. Papa Jay does not have power. Papa Jay does not have anointing. Papa Jay has nothing. It's just an empty vagabond. But this we can agree. Let's disagree on anything else. But when it comes to Papa Jay, he's a well-certified native doctor. If it was not for Tompolo, there would be no Papa Jay. That land he operates on is Tompolo's. Papa Jay, he, is, he literally has nothing. He only, the money that he has made is from scamming people. Hey. And he has a small cartel of Yahoo boys that he works with. Ah, I keep going deeper. Let me put it to an end on this particular note. But the point I'm trying to stress is, Papa J, what can I say about Papa J that I have not said already? <laughs> I said this before, let me say it for the last time. If there are 15,000 false prophets in Nigeria, or fake babalaos, or native doctors in Nigeria, Papa J is one of them. But if there's only one fake one fake, if it is to be said and declared that there's only one fake prophet or native doctor in Nigeria, then it's definitely Papa J. If this story is true, we will wait to see what will happen at the end. <laughs> I won't say anything. You have heard from Prof X. Thank you for posting this video. Though, you know, some people might just write somebody. It might not be true. But I know Prof X. We do justice to this. We will wait till the end to see what's going to happen. If this story is true, you know a lot of people are doing this. We know. Thank you. Share, comment, share, comment, subscribe. God bless.